Hi everyone, in this video tutorial, I am going to code along the solution of uh, mini coding challenge which was posted on Vocaspire's Instagram handle today. So the challenge was, we need to first create a CSS file and name it as styles.css. Then we, we need to link it to our HTML file. Then inside our HTML file, we need to define a heading and then we need to change the headings font to Trabersha MS. Then if we if the Trabersha MS is not found on the system, then we need to look for the Helvetica font. And even if Helvetica is not found, then we need to give last fallback generic font as sans serif. So let's, ju let's just jump right into it and see how we can go about it. So I'm going to open my sublime text editor. So for the sake of comfort, I've already named my HTML and CSS files as vocaspire.font.html and vocaspire.css. So let's start to code along. So firstly, we need to specify that this document is an is a HTML5 document. So we will give the syntax doc type an exclamation mark and then HTML. Then quickly I'll declare the starting HTML tag, closing HTML tag. Then I'll declare the title. So let's give our page title as the uh, Vocaspire mini coding challenge and this title will come inside head so opening head tag and closing head tag okay i'll give proper white spacing so that uh, so that we don't get confused and we have a proper coding structure so okay so now we have added the title to our web page and let's just link the CSS file. So the CSS file will be linked by giving the syntax uh, link using the link tag. Then the relation of the CSS file is style sheet. Style sheet. And then in the href attribute, we will specify the path. So the path is uh, vocaspire.css. We don't want to specify the full path here because the vocaspire.css happens to be in the same folder. So since the folder structure is same, we can just simply put the file name. Once our head section is complete, we will declare the body. Now inside the body, I'll give a heading. So I'll use the h1 tag and uh, let's just uh, name book aspire and uh, give the tagline for book aspire which is skillful smart india okay so now let's just walk through the code once again and make sure and let's make sure that everything is all right so doc type html and then we have opening and closing html tags then inside the uh, header section we have added the title of the web page and linked our style sheet and then inside the body, we have given a heading, which is Vocaspire Skillful Smart India. We made a typo here. Okay, let's just save it and let's just run it in the browser. So I'll open the browser where I've saved the file and double click on it. And let's wait for our file to open up. Okay, so the output is here. Vocaspire Skillful Smart India, our heading, our H1 heading is getting displayed here. But the challenge was, the challenge was we need to change the headings font. The default font needs to be changed to Trabesha MS. And if Trabesha MS is not found on the system, then we need to look out for Helvetica. And even if Helvetica is not found, then we need to look out for Sans Serif. So we'll go to our CSS section and start giving the styles for h1 so the way we go about styles is firstly we'll select the tag for which we need to give the style so over here the tag for which we need to implement style is h1 tag and then once we have h1 selector in place we will define the styles for it so the way we go about defining the uh, style for font is by selecting the property font family in font family already we have been given to use the font 
Trabeusia MS. So since Trabeusia MS consists of two words, we will give the value inside the double quotations. So let me just type the spelling T R E B E T R E B T R E B U C H E T T R E B U C H E T M S Trabeusia MS. Then I'll give a comma. The second part of the challenge was that if Trabeusia MS is not found, then we need to look out for Helvetica. So inside my font stack, I'll give Helvetica as well. Helvetica. Since Helvetica consists of only one word, so that uh, need not to be put inside a double quotation. Helvetica. And then last fallback font needs to be Sans Serif. Sans Serif. Then is S E R I F. So now once we have all these three in place, I'll control S here. I'll press control S over here. And let's just look uh, at the logic once again. So the way it works is firstly for the H1 tag, the styles which we have declared is font family, Trabeusia MS, and then we have declared Helvetica. And after Helvetica, we have written sans serif. So how this font family property and value works is firstly, the system will look out for Trabeusia MS. So as all of you might already be aware that the font which we are specifying here, once the user opens up, opens it up on their system, this Trabeusia MS will be looked up into the user system itself. So suppose a person Y is opening up my website in his system so that Trabeusia MS font needs to be installed in his system. So the reason why we are declaring Helvetica after Trabeusia MS is that Helvetica works as a fallback font here. So if Trabeusia MS is not found on the wise person system, then it will look out for Helvetica. And even if Helvetica is not installed on that person's computer, then it will look for a sans serif font. So sans serif being one of the most generic font, the chances is the chances are that the sans serif will be there on their user system. The probability of having sans serif on his or her, her system is very very high. That's why the last the last font which we declare in our this entire font stack needs needs to be a generic font. That's why in the question also it was mentioned that the last font has to be a generic font which is sans serif. So now that we have this in place, let's just press Control plus S. Now the our file is saved. Let's go back to the browser once again and let's just reload the browser and see our font style has changed to Trabeusia MS. Now since my system has Trabeusia MS installed, the font changes to Trabeusia MS. In case I didn't have Trabeusia MS, then the font would have fall back to Helvetica. And in case I didn't even have Helvetica, then it would have fallen back to Sans Serif. So we can have as many number of fonts as we want over here. I can specify other fonts as well over here if I want. So as, as many number of font names I can put it over here. The thing which we need to keep in mind is that the last font has to be a generic font. The chances of which uh, having to be found on a system is very very high. So that's all for this video. See you next time. Bye bye.